What's up everybody, it's Jet Central back with another video. And uh, in this one I actually want to talk a little bit about uh, Geno Smith. Now, all indications are pointing at Geno Smith to be the starting quarterback for the New York Jets in the 2016 uh, NFL season. Now I know a lot of people are pissed. A lot of the Jets fans are very uh, aggravated at, you know, the, the thought of Geno Smith going into the uh, season as the starter. A lot of people are pissed off about that. You know, he throws picks and whatever. Um, but I got to be honest with you guys. I'm not too mad. I'm not I'm not too pissed off or anything, really. I like Geno Smith, and I've, sa I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I think Geno Smith can start and be a very good NFL quarterback, or quarterback at the NFL level. I think he has all the tools. He has a good arm. He's accurate at times. He's mobile. He can move around in the pocket. You can, you know, have a whole section of the playbook dedicated to him, the read option, this and that, whatever. I believe he gets a bad rap. And uh, lately I've been watching, you know, some of his tape from his rookie season and a little bit from his uh, sophomore season, his second season. And, you know, I, I got to cut the man some slack. Because, you know, I have to take into consideration that Geno Smith wasn't, he had, he had no weapons. You know, I watched a game, or I watched uh, some tape the other day. His three wide receivers that he was throwing to, Stephen Hill, not on the team. I think he's with the Carolina Panthers practice squad. Santonio Holmes, after his prime, he's not in the NFL anymore. And Greg Salas. I mean, the, really? I mean, that's not really that good of a wide receiving core. I mean, that it was that's horrible. Greg Salas, I think, is on the Detroit Lions. I, I think maybe as the fourth, fourth string wide receiver. I don't know. All I know is is that the Jets front office never provided Geno Smith with enough weapons. That's for sure. I mean, I guess they you you know I guess Jay Samaro can somewhat get a pass because he had a somewhat decent rookie season. But then he was hurt his whole sophomore season. So I'm Jay Samaro is still suspect in my book. And they never went out and they drafted a wide receiver. They never got a wide receiver in the draft and like a, just a beast in the first round. They never helped him out. They never got an offensive tackle in the first round or anything, you know, while Geno Smith uh, was still a young quarterback. And, you know, thinking about that kind of pisses me off. Another thing you, all, you also have to think about too is this. Gino also had to deal with the dysfunction that was the New York Jets coaching staff at that time. You know, Marty Morningwig with the complicated offense that no one knew what they were doing. That I mean, it was complicated. No one understood it, and the play calling was suspect most of the year. And you take and Rex Ryan, who you know contributed li contributed nothing, little to nothing on the offensive side of the football, and. You know, you take that and you add that with no weapons on offense and you're not helping Gino through, you know, through the draft. And then you also take that and you add it with the New York media. It's just, you know, that all equals out to just a bad situation. And, you know, Gino Smith has had some off the field problems. I know he uh, he cussed out the fan. I know he got kicked off an airplane for like listening to his headphones or something like that as the plane was trying to take off or some some reason. I don't know. But. Oh, and then the whole punching thing with uh, uh, I.K. and and in Kampali or whatever the guy's name is. So I mean, he has had some off the field, you know, a little bit of situations. Um, but I mean, it's never you never see the guy getting arrested or you know committing crimes or anything like that. And I like Geno, man. I, I really do think he can play. And I have some advice for Geno Smith. Before I get into the, before I you know, let me backtrack. Before I get into the advice. I actually, I actually want to try to persuade any of the uh, any of the people that that are out there thinking, okay, you know, Geno Smith might not be the best option, and it, it'll be it'll be horrible if he goes into the uh, goes into the season as the starter. Let me just tell you guys this: Chan Gailey's system is a very quarterback friendly system, and you know, it's I know you guys are out, a lot of people out there, you know, Fitz, 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 Fitz Magic, whatever. He's great. He had an awesome year. That is true, that I understand that. But just because Fitzpatrick had an amazing season 
in Chan Gailey's offense does not mean that Geno Smith can't have it, you know, an amazing season in that offense as well. Think about it. The, the, I mean, the offense really consists of a lot of shotgun plays, getting your playmakers out in space, and a lot of short passes. That's what Geno Smith likes to do. That's what he ran a lot at uh, West Virginia. A lot of shotgun, a lot of crossing patterns, a lot of slants. Every once in a while, you can throw it deep. A lot of stuff over the middle of the field. That's what Geno Smith likes to do, and that's what he's comfortable with. Also, Geno Smith is a mobile quarterback, so... You know, you could throw in the read option. You could throw in a couple plays um, for him to use his legs a little bit more. Another thing, Brandon Marshall, Eric Decker, Devin Smith. I like that. I like that a lot. Maybe Sharon Peak. Who knows? All I know is that this wide receiver, the the wide receivers that are on this year's team, go or should I say next year's team, are twice as better than the ones that he had to use in his, uh, or not use, but uh, throw to in his uh, rookie season. You know, the whole Greg Salas, Antonio Holmes, Stephen Hill. God. I mean, the Brandon Marshall, Decker, Devin Smith, still suspect, but he has a pretty big upside. Anyway, the receivers that he has now are much better than he, uh, than he, that he had at his disposal his rookie season, 2013. So I'm really excited to see if Geno Smith gets the start, what he can do with a dominant wide receiving core, Decker, Marshall, Devin Smith, Sharon Peak, maybe Kimberl Tompkins. Now, I really do believe that Geno can turn things around in New York. I, I just, I have a feeling that it could happen. Will it happen? I don't know. Do, you, do I think that Geno Smith can play at the next level for maybe a different team down the road? Of course I do. I, I honestly thought his perfect fit would be the uh, L.A. Rams, a team that he could just hand the football off to, not really rely too much on him trying to throw it 35 times a game. Also, he would be back up with, uh, he'd team back up with Tavon Austin and Stedman Bailey, two players that he likes to work out with uh, in the offseason as well. And, um, and so, yeah, with that being said, I want to give some advice to Gino Smith. Gino, if you happen to be watching this video, I just want you to know that I support you. I think you can be a beast. I wear your jersey every Sunday. And if I was in your, you know, if I was wearing your shoes, if I was in your spot, I would change my number. I would change the helmet design. I would maybe throw on a dark visor, a black visor. I'd wear different cleats. I'd wear a, maybe a glove on my left hand. I'd wear a towel around my waist and I'd wear high socks or low socks, whatever you prefer. I'd switch up the mojo. I'm switching up the karma. I'm changing everything. I'm changing my number, changing my helmet. I'm throwing in a visor. Maybe, you know, a little bit of a uh, little bit of change is good for the guy. You know, he's he's done the same thing. He, he, he's, he struggled a little bit his rookie season. He struggled a little bit in his sophomore season. He sat, which is very valuable, in his third season behind Fitzpatrick. He also watched Fitzpatrick have success. And I think that'll be big down the, down the road for Gina. I think that, you know, everyone always wants to talk about, okay, rookie quarterbacks, you got to sit them. You know, they might not be ready. Geno Smith was forced to play because Mark Sanchez got hurt in the preseason in 2013. He was forced to play. He might he wasn't even ready. So maybe that he had so pretty much was just what I'm trying to say is that maybe since Geno Smith had to sit out all of last year, he could have sat back. He took you know, he he didn't really have any pressure on him. He watched some guy had had success in the system that he will be running this year if he, you know, does get the starting nod. And who knows? That could be, you know, I think that could really pay dividends for Geno Smith down the road as a quarterback. So that's my advice for Geno. Change your number. Switch up the helmet game. Get some new cleats, man. Got to switch it up. Get, you know, get all that bad karma out. I'm, I mean, I know it's not really going to make that much of a difference physically, like on the field, but mentally, you got to change it up. You know, you see it in baseball all the time. If, a, if, if you know... If a guy's going through a slump, you know, they they put they pull up the socks, they wear the stirrups. They switch to like all black gloves or something like that or um 
or a neon sleeve. Who knows? And it's just, you know, a, a whole uh, mental thing. I'm a superstitious kind of guy. I know most people aren't. But if I was Gina Smith, just switch it up. What's the worst that could happen? You know what I mean? Switch it up. Maybe try, try to change your number. Who knows? All I'm saying is that I think Gino can play. I will be rooting for Gino Smith this season, especially if he gets the starting nod. And I support you, buddy. So if you just so happen to watch this video, I support you. Jets Nation supports you. I know you take a lot of crap from everybody. And uh, my hat goes off to Gino Smith. It really does. I'm supporting for you, or I'm supporting you, and I'm pulling for you this season. So with that being said, take it easy, guys, and enjoy the rest of your guys' day.